Hello and welcome to this EQ video tutorial showing you the automation features of the EQ programmer. As we have created quite a lot of content inside of the queue lists down here, I would now like to show you how easy it is to automate them with the automation trigger engine. Inside of the trigger list, you will always find a trigger and an action, where the trigger is the if case and the action that should be executed. You can easily add a trigger by clicking onto the Add Trigger button. Inside of the Trigger tab, you can define the if case. So you'll find an on, which is the event, like an action pad event, which can be a button press on an action pad, a queue list and its status, like it's stopped, played or idle. You can execute an action every second. You can react on failure unit, button presses, you can do hourly events and actions with minutes and seconds. You can do execute things on initialization or on label, as well as reacting on MIDI control changes, MIDI note on, MIDI note off and MIDI program changes. The peer event trigger makes it possible to receive incoming messages from other programmer softwares inside the same network and then execute an action. The periodic function makes it possible to execute actions on certain days, daily, Monday to Friday, or only on Saturday and Sundays, also together with hours and minutes that can be defined. Once you have set the right trigger, just go to the Action tab and choose which action should be executed, for example, a queue list number one that should be played, and just click the OK button. Inside of a trigger, you can also make them valid from and to a certain date and you can also fill in a comment to make it more easy to identify which program should be running on which date. It is also possible to activate or deactivate triggers directly in a trigger list by double clicking on the green dot so you will get a red cross if they are deactivated. Let's add another trigger. Another possibility for triggering are incoming serial commands. So just choose the serial port that you would like to receive the command from and set the values A and B. The sunrise timer trigger makes it possible to not only use the day, but also the sunrise event that you would like to use for automation. In addition, you can also set an offset in minutes. And again, just choose the action that should be executed like playing cue list number two. Another kind of trigger that is used a lot of times for incoming messages is the terminal event. The terminal event is used whenever you would like to automate key presses from an ecom, the IQ terminal software, the Connect EIB KNX, or any other software or hardware that is able to send EQ send key messages UDP packets. And once again, just choose the action and that's it.